kwe mami e dia go kolire e kiuga go eterere e kodi ete bata Today, over 7 million Kenyans own mobile phones. This technology has revolutionized the way that people live and work. More than just a social tool, mobile phones empower people with vital information that makes a difference in their lives. <laughs> The coffee industry in Kenya provides an interesting example of how information and communication technologies, or ICT, is transforming the marketplace for agricultural products. Generally, Kenya coffee farmers do not seem to, to understand why it is that prices either move up or go down. In the Kenyan situation, the coffee belongs to the farmer until such a time when he is paid. He may tell us, right now, don't mill my coffee because the market is not right. Tomorrow he discover the market is right. At the point when we are milling the coffee and taking it to the market, already the good price is gone. I as a farmer will require quite a lot of information to enable me to focus on exactly what to produce, how much to produce, and basically also to control the grades. If at all I had a mechanism where I would be in a position to know in advance that uh, Maybe in the, in, the, in the next one month or in the next two weeks, the prices are going to go slightly high. Then I may be in a position now to get my milling instructions to my miller properly. More and more Kenyans today and more and more farmers today are using cell phones. That alone is a tool that we can use to inform the farmers in terms of prices. A cell phone, I mean, is a right medium. You can be able to put it in your pocket, work in the farm, move around with it. So if, let's say, you need to make a decision or to find out or to counter check, let's say about the market, you, you just need to press the button and you get the information. Other agricultural sectors in Kenya are already using mobile phones to disseminate pricing information. Every morning, we SMS Sokone to 411. We are given a response by the 412, knowing on this, the prices in the market. So it is through the, the SMS that we, we rate our produce every morning. <laughs> SMS Sokoni is a service provided by the Kenya Agricultural Commodity Exchange, or CASE, which sends farmers pricing information for agricultural products to their mobile phones. CASE has several market information points around the country, from which they send price information to the headquarters in Nairobi. In turn, CASE headquarters uses a web application to upload market prices onto the servers of the mobile phone network. This information helps farmers decide what crops to grow. Before we did not know anything to do with crop rotation. We were just cultivating French beans, French beans, French beans. But we have learned how to farm. Good farming with good prices. Equipped with the right information, the farmers are able to determine the most profitable market center to transport products to and circumvent middlemen. Before we met the Kenya Agriculture Commodity Exchange, we had a few brokers and the prices were a throwaway price, we improved about 70%. Kazi 560 is a service that uses mobile phones as a channel to combat unemployment. Employers call us and then they give us the job vacancies and the exact requirements of what they're looking for. We customize the information they give us into an SMS of 140 characters. We have a channel that we use that is called my info update that we use to channel the jobs to the job seekers. Now, when you come here and update this particular job, it goes into people's phones. Job seekers simply send a text message to 560 to subscribe to any of the 85 categories of jobs, ranging from drivers, receptionists, waiters, and marketing experts. The success of Kazi 560 is staggering. 
since it started in late 2004, over 80,000 people have subscribed. More significantly, nearly 4,000 people a year find a job through this SMS service. These are just some examples of how mobile phones are empowering people with information and revolutionizing Africa. Mm -hmm.